Here I've got the Bastille Aikido, which is delivering death blows to all my other VCAs. So many nice little tricks up its sleeve, so I thought I'd do a really quite a short video just to give you a really quick overview of why I think it's so cool. On the face of it, it's similar to loads of others, but this has got a few very clever little tricks up its sleeve. Like any four VCA module, you've got four audio inputs, you've got four CV control inputs, you've got a level control, you've got the CV control, so this CV is being um, controlled by this, well above it is the black envelope generator from Erica Synths, and I'm playing the Artoria. But with the level, just leave it on, but in this case the CV can also be negative. and the CV cascades from one to the other. So if you've only got a single CV source, a single envelope generator, for example, you can control all of the four inputs with the same CV. Plug in another, in breaks that circuit, but that's, that's nothing unusual. And it can produce a nice saturation again, which is not out of the ordinary, but the way you do it here, I've set this up so that we've got the output, this is the main output, the outputs cascade as well. So this is playing one, two, three, and four, but we bring the output back into four. So we get like a feedback loop. So turn this up, play the bass. Bring the sort of feedback circuit of the feedback loop in. We can see that clipping. Let's just change the wave shape on that. Bring it to a sort of sign. Definitely not a sign anymore. nice things to drums and yeah as you've just seen I'm summing everything using the cascading outputs here so we've got the drums and we've got the bass and there we're listening to one and two cascaded through to four break that circuit we're only listening to whatever's coming from these three. But if you're used to anything with cascading circuits, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about there. But the secret thing we've got here is the additional mix output. So that's what I was using when we first started. So I've got the mix output. Then we've got these mute buttons. Mute buttons don't work on the cascading outs, but they do on the mix. Not playing exactly in time there, but these are just absolute pure genius. I love simple ideas like that. How many times do you want to mute something, turn just a single channel off? Why has no one thought? Maybe they have, but I've not come across one. There's, there may be loads of them, but I just think it's a great little idea. Then we've got this coup de grace, which are these two envelope followers giving the death blow, putting all normal VCAs out of their misery. <laughs> The first one on the left works like a standard sidechain input. It turns the overall level from an audio signal into a CV, so it can be used for standard sidechain pumping effects. Uh, and it's got a dedicated speed switch up at the top. And the one on the right is frequency dependent with treble, mid and bass. So take a look at those and starting off on the left for the sidechain, we can use either this input here, which is dedicated for the sidechain, or it's normal to the main input. And because it's normal to the main input, that means that we can use the main input to modulate itself. So the output for that is this envelope out patch point here, but that is also normal to the CV in. So we can use this side chain as a compressor or expander because, well, I've got the drums coming through here now, just play them. So that's the main level, Let's stick at that. So then we can increase the level, expanding it, so those transients are going to be much brighter or louder, and we can compress it because we're going to drop the signal as the signal gets louder. Different speeds. 
I'm obviously doing it very extreme here just to show you what it does. But using this as the output, we could say modulate anything so you can get those classic pumping effects. Examining that intro patch in a little more detail, I'm using the Erica Synths Black Sequencer as the clock for the Steppy, which is playing the three tracks of drums from the Mod Pack Trinity. We've just got a kick, um, karate style snare, and a hi hat. The Black Sequencer is also sending the pitch CV to the Osiris, and then that's going into the Polyvox VCF from Erica Synths which is being modulated by an LFO from the black envelope generator. You can see there's no gate input there. It's just an LFO, so if I just turn this up. And that's going through the Nautilus, just for a little bit of nice delay. So if I press play on the sequencer, and now I've dropped the volume, bass, we're not going to get anything. I'm looking here, the drums are coming into the input of A, which is normal to the side chain input, and we can see there we're getting some response from the, uh, from the envelope follower. So as I turn this up, change it to fast mode, or medium, it's going to be affected by the length of the kick. stuff there as well it's acting so quickly and if we didn't want to do that we just wanted to listen to the bass itself or the kick itself we can put the drums into D now the spectral envelope follower is now listening to D so we'll bring the output of D where it was going before we'll take the spectral envelope and put back into the input the bass now it's only listening to the kick drum, so it's much, much faster without picking up the other things. Interestingly, the mute works on that, but not on these. <laughs> cool and really sounds nice considering we've only got three drums from the Trinity and the Osiris. No gates or envelopes or triggers at all on the Osiris, we're just using the outputs from the envelope followers which are following the kicks. 
Yeah, so that's it, the Bastille Aikido. I think it's a really fun little thing. The mutes are superb for performance. The side chain, expander, compressor, just genius. The way it's all laid out as well is really good and it's a really compact little thing. So hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, think about subscribing, ring the bell, join me over on Patreon. I've got lots of uh, patches, samples, tutorials, and stuff like that there, but it's just really nice to know that people support the channel and it all helps. So I'll see you next time.